to my YouTube channel, English Learning with Flory. Today, we are going to study how to use Article B, Lesson 4. Sana ma, ma watch my first lesson, previous lesson, Lesson 3, before this Lesson 4. Okay? What is Articles? Articles are words used before a noun and they modify nouns. They are three articles in English, A, N, and D. There are two types of articles, definite articles and indefinite articles. Now, D comes in definite articles. A and N comes in indefinite articles. Usage of A and N. Use A when word starts with a consonant sound. And use N when words start with a vowel sound. So, see Lesson 3, Article A and N para mas maintindihan natin yung Lesson 4. Thank you. Ngayon, nandito si Karen at si Jo. So, they have conversation at pakinggan natin kami pinag-uusapan nila. I had a sandwich and an apple for lunch, sabi ni Jo. And then, the second sentence, the sandwich was not very good, but the apple was nice. So, bakit niya ginamit yung a sandwich and an apple sa first sentence? Kasi, wala pa siyang definite. So, hindi pa kasi alam ni Karen kung alin yung specific sandwich and specific apple. So, kaya sa second sentence niya, sinabi niya na, The sandwich was not very good, but the apple was nice. So, ginamit niya yung the sandwich and the apple kasi alam na ni Karen kung ano yung specific sandwich at saka yung specific apple na tinutukoy ni Jo. Okay, compare A and N in this example. Yesterday, a man and a woman were sitting opposite me. So, nag-uusap ang dalawa dito. So, yung man and woman, hindi siya specific dun sa, sa kanilang usapan. So, in the second sentence, blank man was American, but I think blank woman was British. Anong sagot? The man and the woman, correct. The man was American, but I think the woman was British. So, dito sa second sentence, specific na si man. American. And the woman, another example, when we were on the holiday, we stayed at the hotel. Sometimes, we ate at blank hotel and sometimes we went to blank restaurant. Anong sagot? Correct. The hotel and a restaurant. Sometimes we ate at the restaurant and sometimes we went to a restaurant. Ngayon, makonfuse tayo bakit dito sa una, the hotel, and sa pangalawa, a restaurant. Kasi yung hotel, minention na niya sa first sentence. When we were at a holiday, we stayed at a hotel. So, sa the second sentence niya, alam na nung kausap mo kung anong hotel. The hotel, kaya yun ang inilagay niya sa second sentence. Pero, ito namang restaurant, e restaurant ang sinabi, kasi wala naman siyang binanggit na restaurant sa first sentence niya. So, kaya dito sa second sentence, sometimes we went to a restaurant. So, indefinite pa dito yung restaurant niya. Okay. We use D when we are thinking of a specific thing. Compare A, N, and D. Team sat down on blank chair. Perhaps one of many chairs in the room. So, team sat down on blank chair nearest the door. A specific chair. So, in the first sentence, what is the answer? A, N, or D? Correct. A chair. Why? Because perhaps one of many chairs in the room. Hindi definite dito yung chair. Kahit anong chair sa room, uubra. Kaya, 
a chair ang ginamit natin. Dito sa second sentence. Answer? What is the answer? The chair, correct. Kasi ang chair dito is specific na. Nearest the door. Alam mo na kung ano yung chair na tinutukoy niya kung hindi yung chair na malapit sa pinto. Okay, another example. Paula is looking for blank job. What is the answer? A, N, or D? Answer? Correct, a job. Bakit? Hindi naman specific kung ano yung job na yun eh. So, kaya ang gagamitin natin A. Paula is looking for a job. Second sentence, did Paula get blank job she applied for? What is the answer? Correct, the job. Kasi, specific na yung job dito kung ano yung she applied for. So, ito yung specific, yung trabaho na ina-applyan niya. So, naging specific na dito yung job. Kaya, ang gagamitin natin, the job. Did Paula get the job she applied for? Another example. Do you have blank car? What is the answer? A car, correct. Why? Because no specific car. Kahit anong car. Hindi mo alam kung Mercedes, Toyota, or anong car yan. Not specific. At hindi mo alam kung kaninong car. I cleaned blank car yesterday. My car. What is the answer? Correct the car because specific na dito yung car. My car. Alam mo na kung anong car at kaninong car. Kaya ang sagot, the car. I cleaned the car yesterday. Now, we use D when it is clear in the situation which things or person we mean. For example, in the room, we talk about the light, the floor, the ceiling, the door, and the carpet. So, kumbaga, yung, yung, yung conversation dito, dalawang tao na nag-uusap at alam na nila kung ano yung pinag-uusapan. Specific na sa kanila kung ano yung tinutukoy. So, tingnan natin example. One, can you turn off blank light? Please, what is the answer? Correct, the light. Kasi alam mo, alam mo, at alam ko, yung pinag-uusapan natin, nasa pareho tayo ng sitwasyon. Nasa pareho tayo ng lugar. Kaya ang sagot, the light. Can you turn off the light, please? Second, I took a taxi in a blank station. The station of that town. So, what is the answer? Correct, the station. Because alam ko at alam mo yung, yung pinag-uusapan nating istasyon. Second, in the shop. I like to speak to blank manager, please. So, what is the answer? The manager, correct. Because kausap mo yung staff. So, alam nung staff at alam ko kung sino yung tinutukoy kong manager. Iisa lang yung manager. So, definite at specific. So, I'd like to speak to the manager, please. Second, in the way we say, go to the bank, to the post office. I have to go to blank bank, and then I'm going to blank post office. What is the answer? Correct, the bank and the post office. Kasi kung tayo magka-opisina, alam ko kung saan ka pupuntang bangko. Alam ko rin. At alam din ang kausap mo kung saan ang pupuntahan mong post office. Kaya ang sagot, the bank and the post office. I have to go to the bank and then I'm going to the post office. I go to the doctor and go to the dentist. Claire is not very well. She has gone to blank doctor. Her usual doctor. So alam nila, both of them, they know who is the specific doctor. Kaya ang ginamit nila, ano sagot? Ano answer? Yes, the doctor. Claire is not very well. She has gone to the doctor. I don't like going to blank dentist. What is the answer? Correct, the dentist. Because the speakers at the conversation of both of them, they know who is the dentist 
they are referring to. So, alam nila kung sino yung pareho nilang pinag-uusapan. Kung sino yung dentist na yun. So, my sister is blank dentist. What is the answer? A dentist. Why a dentist? Kasi kapag ka i describe natin yung job ng isang tao, A yung ginagamit natin. Uh, uh, my sister is a dentist. I am a doctor. You are an engineer. They are the two. Here we say once a week, three times a day, eh, 150 pesos a kilo. So, kapag ka ang sagot, kasi ang question, how often do you go to cinema? Kapag sasagot natin, what is the answer? About once a month. Pagka once a month, once a week, once a year, once a day, always A. How much are those potatoes? 150 kilo, 200 a kilo, always a kilo. Okay. Helen works 8 hours blank. Answer, a day or Helen's work 8 hours a day. Helen's work 8 hours 6 days a week. So, always A for that. Okay, tapos na ang ating lesson 4 part 1. So, if you like my video, please do not forget to subscribe, share, and click the bell button for your uh, notification sa susunod nating lesson. Abangan natin ang part 2, hindi pa kasi tapos ang ating lesson for article.